Hey, this is just an introduction really to my set of videos that cover all the theory needed for the AQA GCSE 9 to 1 computer science course. I actually did the old version of this course myself and since starting making videos in 2014 lots of people have managed to get top grades even just by watching the videos so hopefully they will be helpful to you too. If you do use my videos please make sure you use the playlists on my channel that are both specific to AQA and specific to each component so either paper 1, paper 2 depending on what you are revising and you might want to save a playlist or playlists to your library so you can access them quicker instead of going through my channel every time and all the videos in most playlists follow the AQA specification directly whereas other videos on my channel are for different exam boards, different levels might be for the old AQA course so please be a little bit careful and hopefully you use um, the playlists in terms of how this course is structured then it's got three components, two exams and one NEA which stands for non-exam assessment and this is in the form of a programming project although there are also design, evaluation, testing stages as well to that and normally or technically the exams would be worth 40% each of the overall grade and that means the NEA is the final 20% but due to issues at the moment with the NEA it's not counting towards the final grade so the exams are both worth 50% in effect so they are even more important than they were when they were worth 80% <laughs> so hopefully the videos will be useful for revising for the exams out of the two exams, paper one is more application based but still requires you to have learnt and revised theory on algorithms, programming, data representation which is a huge topic and hardware and software. And paper two is more traditional but it also overlaps with paper one which could be a good thing because if you've revised paper one really well then it should continue that extra week or however long it is. Uh, but it also includes topics on networks, security and wider impacts of computing which are all big topics as well. And you can't use a calculator in either exam although the maths is not going to be particularly challenging. My main piece of advice for you studying would be to make use of the course specification. And this is a document published on the exam board's website and it, it basically outlines everything to do with the course. So a lot of it is just for teachers, so administrative stuff about moderation and so on. But a lot of it is really useful for students too. Most students don't use it. In fact, some teachers don't use it. So part of the specification is the subject content. So it basically outlines all the bullet points of the content that the exam board want you to know. And making my videos, I followed the specification directly. And the consequence of that should be that I haven't left anything out. That's the plan or including stuff which is not necessary for your exam. I don't want to waste your time by including stuff which isn't relevant for your course. And in fact AQA are especially good at this. They have a second column which often they explain stuff, define things, give formulas. They're really good. They give you a lot of information in the subject content part of the specification. So two main points, use playlists on my channel to navigate to the correct videos and also use the specification in a more general sense. And if you have any questions you can email me or leave a comment. My email address is always in the description of the video and other than that I hope the videos are helpful and everything goes really well.